let's make stir-fried flat noodles with tenderloin cubes, the bougie version of Gohan Tao Nao Ho. Gohan Tao Nao Ho is notorious for being quite an oily dish. And this version of it, we're going to try and share how we're going to get less oil into there. Gohan Tao Nao Ho typically calls for thin slices of beef. But to make an upgraded version, we're going to cut some cubes and make it teppanyaki or hibachi style beef. Hit it with just a little bit of salt. And we're going to massage the salt in. And the beef goes in. Pan fry the beef for a minute on one side and then you can proceed to stir fry. If you immediately start stir frying the beef, all the juices will come out and you won't have a nice caramelization. Turn off the heat and add some light soy sauce. This will prevent the soy sauce from burning. Then I'm gonna add some cognac or you can add some whiskey if you like. This is completely optional and you don't have to add any alcohol if you don't want to. The beef is done. Put the beef in the center of my plate. What's important to do right now is we clean the pot before we do the next part of cooking. Because if I keep cooking in it, the soy sauce that's sticking to it will continue to burn, which I don't want. So give it a quick clean and then we go to the next thing. Whole fun is flat noodles. Now there's two types. There's flat noodles for soup noodles and there's flat noodles for frying. And when you get ho fun, it, it generally sticks together. When I was an intern, when I was 17 years old, I remember being in the kitchen, spending all this time pulling it apart, the ho fun apart like this, strand by strand, just to make sure that when it was cooked, it wouldn't stick to be together in clumps. I'm now going to share with you a secret that I came up with a few years ago on how to unstick the noodles. Take the whole fun and dunk it in room temperature water. Use your hand to massage it a little bit. It'll unstick. What's more is the excess oil that was used to make the noodles comes right off, saving yourself the time and the calories. Now in Asia, we have two types of bean sprouts. There's the beans with the big beans on top, okay? And we have the ones with the little beans like this, the little sprouts like this. Pull off the roots and pull off the tops. Oil goes in. And then pour some oil out. Then there's just the right amount of oil to cook the noodles. I want to deal with the noodles first. I want the noodles crispy with the least oil possible. Tip the noodles in and use wooden chopsticks to stir gently. Then you want to leave it for about a minute and let it fry. Add the spring onions and the yellow chives and stir it around using those wooden chopsticks. If you're using a non-stick pan, don't use anything metal or that will take off the non-stick coating. Add the bean sprouts. In Chinese, these are called an a. Light soy sauce. Dark soy sauce goes in. Here's the second secret I'm gonna share with you. Chinese restaurants use intense heat on the wok and that gives a really nice charred flavor. In Cantonese, we famously call this wok hei, the breath of fire. To get this flavor at home, when you add the soy sauce, don't turn down the heat, let it sizzle. Then you'll be able to have that restaurant flavor. The tenderloin goes back in. I just want to take the opportunity to thank you for watching and remind you that all the recipes are in the comment section below. So all you got to do is copy, paste and cook. Look at these noodles. Restaurant quality in just a matter of minutes. You could tell from my face that I'm thanking myself for making these noodles. If I can do it, so can you. Please like, comment and subscribe.